Grace and peace in God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Russell Ann Barba, and I'm here going to discuss about the broadcasting in the Philippines. And in 1922, the radio stations were established in Pasay and in Manila by Henry Herman. During that time, the Philippines readily accepted radio news and entertainment programs and local businessmen who recognized its profitability established their own radio stations to advertise their products and services. Two years into the experiment, Herman replaced the experimental stations with a 100-watt station with the call letters KZ, KZ on October 4, 1924, with KZ, KZ but a few months old. He sold it to the Radio Corporation of the Philippines, the RCP. In 1929, the K KCRC, Radio Cebu, opened in Cebu and introduced radio broadcasting in the province. However, it was closed down because shortwave relay signals were unsuccessful between Cebu and Manila. It reopened after a decade and previously went to on air with the guerrilla movements. At first, sponsors did not directly advertise their products but mentioned only their names as a sponsor of particular shows or titled the shows after their product, for example, Clean Musical Quiz or the Listerine Amateur. The Radio Control Board created in 1931. The board examined issuance for licenses to operate radio allocated band frequencies and conducted inspections for the Office of the Secretary of Commerce and Industry. From K to D, originally as a colony of the USA, four letter call signs beginning with KZ were in use. Francisco Coco Trinidad, known as the father of the Philippine Broadcasting, attended the National International Telecommunications Union, the ITU in 1947, held in Atlantic City in the U.S. And also, the following stations such as KZRM, KZIV, KZEG, KZRF, KZ and KZRC were existing at the time of inaugural address of President Manuel L. Quezon of the Commonwealth Government. In 1924, the first two calls Call letters KZ was assigned to all radio stations in the Philippines in accordance with the laws of the United States of America. Also, in 1929, the KCRC Radio Cebu opened in Cebu and introduced radio broadcasting in the province. Also, in 1931, the Radio Control Division was established a waste regulatory body of the broadcast industry. Also, in 1939, DZRH was founded. This station is the oldest and existing radio station of the country. The last two letters of the call station stands for Radio Hika. After HE, Hika Company, the company, the name established owned by the founder of the station, Samuel Gatches. He is in the picture and in 1947, the Philippine Congress required that radio stations should change the first call letter of their station name from K to D became the nucleus of the Philippines broadcasting system. For the son DZ or W, for the Visayas DY or N, for the B Mindanao DX. The KZFM renamed DZMM, DZFM. During the war, during the bombing of Pearl Harbor in the Hawaii, and when Japanese airplanes bombed Manila, Six commercial radio stations were established. The first one on December 28, 1941, the United States provided a shortwave relay station in the Philippines and beamed to the five radio stations in the mainland to the radio stations in Cebu. The second one, January 2, 1942, a similar shortwave relay station was provided for a few more days by the Navy wireless station but now destroyed when the Japanese forces attacked Cavite. This, the third is the Feb, in February 6, 1942, General Emilio Aguinaldo 
in broadcast over the Japanese controlled KZRH urged General MacArthur to surrender in view of the obvious superiority of Japanese arms. In the last October 20 and 23, 1944, a temporary shortwave relay station was established in Manila with the call sign PM and PIRM during the war. After the war, when the World War II was over, the KZFM was the first radio station to return on the urn. It reopened in May 1945 and was operated by the U.S. Army Office of War Information. And also the about the television, the G, Mr. James Linden Burge established the Bolino Electronics Corporation, the BEC, and he known as dub as the father of Philippine television. He was the first to apply to the Philippine Congress to put up a television station. And after a year, the application was approved, but due to limited equipment and materials. And he put up a radio broadcasting station in nine, also in 1953, opening in of DZAQ, the TV channel 3 of Alta Broadcasting System in Manila. The station was owned by Judge Antonio Crino, brother of President El Pidio Crino. The station later was bought by Chronicle Broadcasting Network, the CBN. In 1956, started, the started operating radio stations in Chronicle Broadcasting Network. The CBN was owned by the Lopezes, and the acquisition signals the birth of the ABS-CBN Broadcasting Network, now considered as one of the major broadcasting companies not only in the Philippines, but also in Asia. New players in the broadcasting emerge with the establishment of the following TV networks, such as in 1960, the TV5 formerly known as ABC5. In 1961, GMA Network Incorporation, the GMA7. Also in 1969, the Radio Philippines Network, as known as the RPN Channel 9, in 1974, People's Television Network, the PTV4, and also in 1977, Intercontinental Broadcasting Corporation, the IBC-13. IBC as early as 1968, provincial televisions were established in Cebu, Bacolod, and Dagupan by ABS-CBN, Maslog, 2014.